Hello everyone. Thromboelastography, or TEG, is a diagnostic test that measures the clotting ability of blood. It provides a comprehensive assessment of the coagulation system and helps in identifying abnormalities in blood clotting. I will try to give a quick description of the procedure and analysis of the results. This is brought to you by ICU Reach. The test is done by adding the citrated blood into the sample cup of the TEG machine. The cup oscillates around a submerged torsion pin, which is connected to a computer. As coagulation occurs, the pin adheres to the clot and starts to move with it. The magnitude of the pin motion is directly related to the strength of the clot. Pin motion is displayed graphically by the computer. The torsion pin remains motionless until clotting begins. The amplitude of the pin motion increases gradually with time as the clot grows stronger. Then, amplitudes start to decrease as fibrinolysis begins and the pin starts to slip. The graph is analyzed and five parameters are measured. The first parameter is R time, or the reaction time phase. This phase measures the time it takes for the blood to begin clotting, after the addition of a clotting activator. It reflects the latency before the initiation of the coagulation cascade, representing the enzymatic activation and thrombin generation. Normally, it takes 5 to 10 minutes to reach 2 mm amplitude. It would be prolonged in cases of clotting factor deficiencies or the presence of anticoagulants. Fresh frozen plasma is indicated in patients with bleeding and prolongation of the R time. The second parameter is the K time or the kinetical phase. This phase measures the time it takes for the clot to reach a certain level of firmness at 20 mm. It reflects the speed of the initial clot formation and it is dependent on the accumulation and formation of fibrin links from fibrinogen. Normal value is 1 to 3 minutes. If it is prolonged, it would indicate a low level of fibrinogen and would consider transfusion of cryoprecipitate. Alpha angle parameter measures the slope of the curve generated by the TEG machine during the clot formation process in the kinetical phase. It reflects the rate at which fibrin crosslinking occurs, as an indication of the strength of the clot. Normal value is between 50 to 70 degrees, and it would be decreased in cases of hypofibrinogenemia and may require the administration of cryoprecipitate. The maximum amplitude or MA parameter measures the strength and firmness of the blood clot, providing insight into the overall clotting ability of the blood. The normal range for MA is 55 to 75 mm. If the MA is decreased, it may suggest thrombocytopenia or platelet dysfunction. In such cases, platelet transfusion or desmopressin acetate may be recommended as a potential treatment. The LY30 parameter, or lysis at 30 minutes, of thromboelastography measures the percentage of clot breakdown that occurs 30 minutes after reaching the maximum amplitude. This phase provides insight into the ability of the clot to resist breakdown and the activity of fibrinolysis. The normal range for LY30 is 0 to 8%. If the LY30 is increased, it may suggest an increased fibrinolysis. In such cases, the patient may benefit from treatment with tranexamic acid. Please note that the normal values I gave may be slightly different from one reference to another. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Please visit www.icureach.com for more educational resources.